Hello YouTube. Somebody asked me to do a video there. I think his name is Goldman. Can't remember his numbers again. Because I have a brain of a sieve. This is my uh, fire kit anyway, and it comes in this box. Which is an American first aid box. I got this full in the pouch and everything. I need just a couple of range of to keep it real tight. Oh, because the clip is a small bit, kind of. Anyway, it's, it's water tight. Is it water tight? There, YouTube. Yeah, I know what that is. Fat wood. Hey, that's some hemp. Hemp is good for taking a spark though as well. Everybody knows that is steel wool. What have I got in here? They're um what are they Those face whips you mean use to um, clean the makeup off their face. The cotton wool and those been soaked in soaked in um, candle wax, yeah. When they like they like good. This is my fire steel reviews from firesteel.com. As you can see, it's gotten a bit skinny over time. You see that? It's and this thing, there you can see that's been having a good turn off it. This thing does really good gobs of sparks. Not cheap, oh, $25, no, $20. I've had that for the last year and a half and it's still going. It's the best fire steel I have. Just tighten the camera up there, everything's really moving. What else do we have in here? Oh, this is actually dew twine. Certain candle wax is going. It's good for fantastic fire star world is laden. What do we have here? Can't beat that oh label. Another bit of dew twine that's been soaked in um What is that dew twine? No, that's dew twine. This is hemp. That the plumbers use to wind their own fittings and for uh, that hemp is soaked in um, wax as well. Same as that. Look. Yeah, it can't be a deal wax. Let's be that now. Oh! <laughs> Magnesium block. From. Can you make that out? Just about. Firesteel.com as well. Tear big. You Scrape it and leave a big pile of stuff and then one spark that lights up straight away. Now this is in here. Does anybody know what this is? It's one of those, um, what's it called? The magnifying lens. Can't remember the proper name for it. About five minutes in eBay. I don't know why I've really added in that because <laughs> there's not really much sunshine in our country. Occasionally. Ah, that's it. Fresno lens. With one of my wallet as well, it's good for reading because they're yeah, going blind in my old age. What else do we have in here? Danny, there's a thing I have to say to you. Back again, YouTube. Minor family emergency there. <coughs> you know how it is, kids. <laughs> now, what we've got for next? Ah, oh, yes.
YouTube. Up next to Lonnie. It's gonna go in everywhere anyway when you want to put it. So. Drill the container. No one has to go everywhere. There you go. Mere dust. Now that stuff lights up. A charm. Birthday candle, cut off with that like that. It's trying to fire up, Bob's your anything. This is in here. Oh, everyone knows what that is. Forge back, and that's good stuff to take a spark as well. YouTube, of course. Now, this will be later. Can you see that? Everybody knows what they aren't our um, film containers. This one is uh, waxed cotton wool, soaked in Vaseline. And this one is potassium permanganate. What is that you say? Potassium permanganate with some um, What's this stuff called again? Uh, some people use potassium permanganate mixed with antifreeze and the two of them you pour potassium permanganate in first and then you pour the, um, the antifreeze and on top of it but inside the wood pile of fire and the two of them create them a chemical reaction and creates heat and they're all bursting into flames suddenly but this stuff ages over time and if you don't use it all the time the reaction takes longer to fire but um i don't use antifreeze i don't fancy putting antifreeze any into my kit and walking on foods with antifreeze i use um glycerine instead glycerine actually tastes nice sweet to the taste but anyway glycerine and potassium permanganate no, that will start the fire in any kind of a weather. It'll burn anything, it'll basically burn any million if you've enough of it. Something like termite or something. Yeah, you know, there's a bit of fat what I grated down the last time for um, from big, it makes some mere dust. If you grind that down, it makes mere dust. Anyway, YouTube, take care now. Time for a cup of tea. And I'd like to say to my all of my subscribers, I do appreciate all your sub your um, subs and take care. I hope I make nice videos for anyway, YouTube. You take care now, boy.